Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Speed Run. I'm here with Dean, hey. and we're in his 1977 Chrysler Galant. So Dean, tell us a little bit about the car. Um, I've had it for close to 10 years now. Yeah. Uh, bought it from a uh, good friend of mine's father, who was uh, who built, did the conversion on it, um, but then fallen ill so I had to get rid of a few toys yeah um, I picked it up and over the last 10 years I've turned it into what it is now yeah right so what what did it look like when you when you got it uh, it was he was a second owner so it was original paint ding dinged up a bit from the first owner um, factory tires the granny spec sort of look, yeah. Um, but with the the Commodore conversion and the, and all the all the engineering side of things done, yeah. And then um, yeah, I've sort of tried to transform it into more of a an all round cruiser and a bit more sort of Japanese sort of style. Yeah, definitely. True to its heritage. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So take us a little bit through um, the the choice of engine that's actually in it. So it's a Commodore V6 out of a VR Commodore. Yep. Uh, 3.8 litre yep. Buick, Buick V6. Yep. Uh, reasoning behind the engine, reliability, choice of parts, um, you know, fairly compact motor for what you sort of get out of it. And, you know, plenty of torque, decent amount of power. So it's making around 170 horsepower at the tyres. Yeah. So do you do many uh, trips in the car or does it sit in the garage most of the time? Uh, it used to be my daily drive. Okay. Uh, had had the air conditioning, cruise control, basically a Commodore with a, uh, a Galant shell on yeah. it. Um, and then, you know, things changed in terms of work and that sort of thing. So had the ability to get a daily drive. This went into the garage, had a bare metal, rest, bare metal respray, yeah. all that sort of thing. Uh, and now, you know, it's the weekend car where me and my wife go out for a, a drive on the weekend and yeah. snaps the necks, cruise around. That's a bit. That's a <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, when we've been doing um, doing the shoot this morning, it pulls a lot of attention. A lot of the old people out and about walking in the morning are probably going, "Oh, I had one of them." Exactly right. Yeah, it's, it's sort of it's a strange sort of situation where the old people say, "I used to have one of those." The younger generation look at it and say, "Oh, you know." Wild, the wide wheels and all yeah. that sort of thing sort of grab their attention. Yeah. It's a little bit louder and you know, that sort of thing. So Yeah. No, it definitely is um it's got that JDM style about yeah. it. Yeah, that's it's what it's um, trying to be. Simple and clean. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So it's pulled some attention in the past ten years. Um, I see that it was featured in a magazine. Yeah, yeah, so earlier this year actually. Okay. Um it was in a in fast fours. Yep. Even though it's not really a four, but yeah, you know that sort of style car. So yeah, that was a pretty good, pretty good achievement. And then, and then last year I actually used it as my wedding car. So that was okay. That was that was pretty nice to have. There's not much room in the back. No, there's for not. You and your bride. No, uh, <laughs> the, the front seat was slid right forward, and I had a short driver, so <laughs> that helped a little bit. <laughs> so, what are your plans for the car? What are you going to do with it? Um, it's pretty close to being how I want it you yeah. know there's a few little bits and pieces that I want to do I've got some um, Japanese Jap spec um, front end lights yep uh, they actually mount in the apron rather than in the okay. front bar yeah the, the front splitter that's on it's just a um, off a mark one golf mm -hmm. and it's sort of you know, it was it was more of a temporary fix than you know a full that's how I want it to stay yep so Dave, who actually painted the car, he's currently making a fiberglass front a front end, yeah, okay, including an apron, yeah, right. Um, so that'll hopefully I can persuade him to make me one too and yeah. uh, put that on the front thing. Interior-wise, it's pretty close to how I want it as well. Yeah. Um, like I said, just want to put those. Um, Old school speakers in, yeah, and tidy up a bit, a little bit of the of the wiring and that sort of thing. Yeah, uh, but, but apart from that, it's just it's now at the stage where it's just just a driver. Yeah, 
it's reliable. Exactly. Yeah, right. it gets you where you need to be. It's an awesome weekend to car, man. Yeah. Like cruising around the beaches now, everyone having a look. That's it. You know. All right, guys. This pretty much wraps up this uh, feature of Dean's awesome 1977 Galant. Um, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks very much, Dean.